Well, YouTube crew, thanks for hanging in there with us. Look at this sexy son of a bitch right here with that big ass beard. You That's know, right. you, you know, you've been looking at him the whole time. I know it. I know Hard it. to miss. <laughs> Well, YouTube crew, while, since we're just here for you, go ahead and give this a like and subscribe while you're there. But one of, And this is totally off the cuff. I haven't asked either one of these gentlemen this question, but I, I did kind of tease it in the group and didn't get a lot of responses, which I was kind of weirded out by. Christian Yelich, sign an extension. Is that like five years or seven years? Seven years, 219 two, two million. That being said... Mookie Betts, which you know I love me some Mookie. Just a little bit. I, would you rather have Yelich at his price tag or Mookie at his potential price tag? Which his potential was, what, 10 years, 350? He's looking at 10 years or 12 years, 40 or 400. 400. How old is he? 23. Mm. Maybe even younger. What's up, real quick? And Yelich is twenty six. Yelich is is a little bit older. Yeah. Like, what would the average age you guys think is when Mookie's players 27. start? Is he twenty seven? Digressing in their play. Say thirty four, thirty five. So these guys are going to get nine years before they probably start going down. I'm yes. Taking, you know, and as far as. You know, a player that I'm taking, to me, it's easy. I'm taking Yelich. I mean, and Yelich is older right now, but his contract is so franchise-friendly to me. Well, his first contract when he's with the 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 Jeters, holy shit. The dude is oh, getting paid like yeah. seven mil a year. Probably the best bargain in baseball since Albert Pujols signed his 10-year, $100 million contract with the, with the Cardinals. And people thought they spent too much back then. Yelich yeah. is 28, so Yelich is one year older. Oh, there's no question I'm taking Yelich. I mean, it, it, to me, it, it's a, almost a, as far as oh, the last, like, two, three seasons, it's basically a wash. I mean, mm -hmm. since Yelich has put a Brewers jersey on, it's hard to argue that, you know, maybe one consistent player that's better than him, and that's Mike Trout. Yeah. Since since he's since he switched over to the Brewers. So, to so me, 219, when he, I saw this deal go through. He I, won I an like, MVP. Mm -hmm. And if he stays so, healthy last stays healthy, year, he, won he wins one. another one. Mookie's won one. Mookie has World Series ring. Mm -hmm. Yelly doesn't have one yet. Yeah. Well, Mookie also played on a team that Yelich has never even touched the surface no. of a team that good. No. I mean, probably the best Red Sox team in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Sox fans that say they're the best Red Sox team ever. Calm they're down. They're arguably, Calm down. arguably one of the – you can put them in the category of the best baseball team ever. Yeah. So, I mean yeah. – Especially if you go by their postseason and, and the way they just fucking demolished, wipe, demolished teams yeah. that entire postseason. Were they cheating, though? No. No. Even with uh, <laughs> Mr. Uh, banging on the can, Alex Cora there? Nope. No, nope. And I I tell you what. It, I don't know. This it, investigation's taken for fucking ever, though. That's all I'm going to say. That's one of I the reasons. I think the Clintons are running it. Well, that, that, that gives me more confidence because had they had the, it, I have a feeling that if they would have had something concrete they would have come it would have oh, yeah. now they're, they're digging so fucking hard mm -hmm. to make it look not look like they're wasting everyone's time mm -hmm. and on top of that and I, I, I know we've seen it before with you know the Palmeros I did not take steroids ever waving a fucking finger lying through his teeth there's a whole team of Red Sox standing up going this is exactly what the fuck we did yeah Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Was it cheating? Pushing the rules, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you, th there's no way, shape, or form you can compare what they did no, no. to what the Astros were doing. Well, they're not using surveillance footage and yeah. The, yeah. the blimp to zoom in on signals. Yeah, they they go into the clubhouse, watch their their last at bat, which is why those monitors are back there, mm -hmm. and just watching. You know, the, all right. Well, it's two two. He's throwing a slider down and away. So when the next time it's two two, they're prepping for a slider down and away. Mm. Habits, routines. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what they're picking up on. And 
fuck, you could do the same thing with a pe- pencil and a paper mm. in the dugout. Oh, yeah. J.D. Martinez does it all the time. Mm. So don't tell me. That, I mean, granted, baseball told him not to do that. But you know what? How can you patrol or even enforce something when you're someone just watching a video that you placed there? Mm. Don't watch where the pitches are going. Don't watch what they're throwing. Yeah. Mm. Watch your swing only. Watch your swing only. Why well, have the monitor there to begin with? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, this one was weird to me. You know, there's the contract, the number itself was shocking with Yelich. <laughs> now, he, he, I want to say he still has, he's not up for, <coughs> he's still got two years on his current deal. Mm. So they were very proactive with it where the Red Sox weren't with Mookie. I'm curious as if if this would have come out before the Mookie trade, you know, if they would have done this the end of you know end of last year. Mm. There's no way Mookie can ask for that much money. There's no way. Not and, after last year, no. No, no, especially after his lackluster year. Mm. Then again, too, with all the rumors and everything circulating, mm. the injuries the Red Sox had, and. You know, I'm not excusing his performance by any means, but it's hard to tell which one, in my opinion, has a bigger upside. It's and a lot of money either way. And on top of it, not only did Yelich give the Brew Crew a complete hometown discount, he's moving from right field to left field. Mm-hmm. So you're paying me a lot of money, and I'm changing positions. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm getting a lot less money than what it, 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 hell are you kidding me? If if he would have went free agent, you're you're looking at three fifty easy. Mm-hmm. He's leaving oh, one hundred and fifty million dollars on the table. Absolutely. And that's to, to me th- this this contract right here makes me happy to know that there are still some players that are out there. You're like you know what? I hated playing in Miami. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jeets, for getting me the fuck out of there. Now you got me up here. I love the city. I love my teammates. I love the organization. Fuck yes. Mm-hmm. Where do I sign? Mm-hmm. And to, to me, one of the reasons why I like the contract so much more is, is just the, the longevity of the contract. So you have seven years. Or no. Yeah. Is seven, it seven years. Or seven years. Mm-hmm. So you have seven years uh, instead of the 10 years or the 12 years that Mookie's asking for. Mm-hmm. You know, these contracts, they look great when they first start. I'm yeah. a Detroit Tigers fan. I saw it with Miguel Cabrera. <laughs> His you know, swing looks at good the time, this, at the this time, spring, though. Yeah, we, I said that last year. <laughs> it still doesn't look like what it did, you know, four years ago. No. So, and, and at the time that they signed that contract, you know, he's coming off of a triple crown. He's coming off of an MVP season. He and, peaked. And it's, absolutely. And and nobody in baseball deserved that money, or mm-hmm. deserved more money than him. Mm-hmm. They paid it. Now Everything was great. It. Everything was great for the next season. Next year, it kind of started to go downhill. Then they had mm-hmm. the injury. I know, and I realized it was an injury that had to do with a bicep. It wasn't even right. that serious of an injury, but still, we had to deal, go through it. Then last year, it's all, you know, basically we, we find out that his knee's about 75% done. Mm-hmm. So we still have to pay this guy until he's 40 years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and there's, so, uh... so to me, if you can get these contracts done and out of the way, and, and you know, so you have Christian Yelich at 28, so he signs on for seven years. 35, when his contract's coming up, He's still probably playing decent baseball at that time, but That's he's on his way out. Seven year extension. Yeah. So this yeah. means he has nine years total. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. He, he's through contract still not that uh, long, through twenty twenty eight, I believe yeah. it is. You're not paying him until he's forty years old like you <laughs> are with Miggy. And Miggy's at I think Miggy's like thirty seven now, maybe going into thirty gonna be thirty eight at the beginning mm-hmm. of the season. You know, you gotta pay him now for if I think most Tigers fans would say, Yeah, I don't want that guy anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to say that, you know, because I'm a Tigers fan, and obviously I loved Miggy, and I and I still do, and I still re- have more respect for him than about any Tiger that I've ever watched in my time. But if I could get rid of and dump that contract now, yeah. where do I sign? You know, yeah. it's, you know, it's it's very similar to we we all, as Tigers fans saw the decline of Victor Martinez. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, probably one of the best switch hitting switch hitters, especially switch hitting catchers mm-hmm. ever. But just saw him deteriorate, mm-hmm. just because of age and injuries and everything yep. else. And I, it's unfortunately for Tigers fans, it's going to be a long deterioration. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not ready to yet. If it happens again this year, then my I'm jumping off that mm-hmm. boat I mean, because I, I I've been driving the bus and the boat the Miggy, the Miggy train mm-hmm. for 
Oh, know, absolutely. Past... And, it's, and it's hard not to, you know, because you look at all the, the past success that he had. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to just give up on a guy like that. And, I, and I, I'm sure the same thing could be said for a lot of Pittsburgh Pirates fans with Andrew McCutcheon. Yep. And I get it that he's not there anymore. You know, he's moved on to Philly now. But well, at the time that they signed that deal, it was like he was coming off an MVP season. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we want to lock this guy up and we want him forever. Well, the, the, the best one that, go... that, that embodies that, it's Albert Pujols with yes. the Angels. Yes. Now, if you... Could you imagine how much talent they could put around Mike Trout if they weren't paying Albert Pujols that much and fucking Josh money? Hamilton? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure CJ Wilson's Wilson probably still getting some money. On that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no, that that was. I think I'm, I think I'd have to take Yelich. Yelich and his contract, even though I love Mookie. To to me, player wise, I would probably give Mookie a little bit of the. I think they both are freaking studs when it comes to, you know, at the plate, obviously. Mm-hmm. The reason I, I, I probably give Mookie the, the head over Yelich is I think Mookie's better defensively. Yeah. Got, he, it's proven he, he has a way better arm. I mean, oh, Mookie yeah. arguably has maybe the best arm in the game. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, defensively. Either, hit, either him or Judge or, and Stanton, all mm-hmm. three of those mm-hmm. guys. So Mookie, I would probably say, is, is a better player. But Mookie getting, you know, locking him up for 12 years, and he is 27 years old, yeah. so he is going to be, you know, 40 over the age of 40. I thought 40. he was younger than that. I, I thought he was 23, 24, but Oh, yeah. if he was 23, 24, fuck, yeah. sign the deal. I'm taking right. I mean, it, and the you know, only guy that, to me, that I'm willing to pay 400 plus million for, for Mike Trout. T- yeah, it is Mike Trout. Mookie's not Mike Trout, never will be. No, so Christian Yelich is not Mike Trout, never will be. And I, I think it kind of puts into perspective that the Red Sox weren't too far off with 10 years, 350. <laughs> Every Red Sox <laughs> fan, myself included, myself included, I wanted them to re-sign Mookie just as much as the next Red Sox fan. The only person I that would disagree with me, they're not Red Sox fans, but Kyler Thornburg was probably like, no, 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 don't fucking pay him. We want him, we want him. And now, <laughs> and now it's going to be funny when... Uh, I don't think Mookie's going to... I don't I don't know. It's all going to come down. I don't if they win stays. a World Series, I don't know. Hmm. I don't... I don't. I don't see him staying there. I, really yeah, I mean, don't. it's the fucking Dodgers. They'll, be, they'll get to the World Series easy, and then they'll shit the bed like they always. Kershaw do. lose game two. Yeah, Kershaw will be six. Yep, because <laughs> he, he never has showed up in the playoffs. No. They'll they'll be the best team in baseball all season long, hands down, and then they'll get to the playoffs, and no, they'll get to the World Series, and they'll shit the bed. Oh. Calling it now. There you go, Kyler. He's calling you out. But one thing I will say is, I was I was kind of already I was kind of banking on the Yankees winning it all. And now with some of these injuries to the Yankees, I don't know if they're going to get there. They're the. Here's my thoughts on this, and call me a homer. I don't give a shit. You've got your number two, three, four, possibly five starters on on injured injured reserve right now. The bullpen's locked down. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Don't have to That's worry. It's the best bullpen in baseball. You know that the, the average height of like six eight. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you Batanzas had hadn't really been there the last year and a half. He's obviously not physically there. He's with a I think he's Phillies. Philly, I I, I think it, either the Phillies or the Reds or something like that. But uh, still, probably the best bullpen in baseball. There they went. They went. Th- and now you got Judge on, on the on, on the rack. You've got Stanton. There they went to the well so many times and got. So lucky that players filled the roles that they were asked to fill so easily. Now you got uh, Gary Sanchez with with, with back Mets, right? And uh, Gary Sanchez with back problems. Anytime you're, and, uh, of course, Aaron Boone played it off. I'm not worried about it. When you have a catcher having back problems, mm. it's a big fucking problem. Mm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. anyway, it's like you, having knee surgeries for a catcher. Yeah. And I, t- to be honest with you, we, I, I want to put this on air right now. The one they're going to miss the most this season is Didi. Yeah. Might not miss his glove mm-hmm. because all those infielders, especially, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I I can see why they didn't re-sign him. Yeah, However, they'll, they'll probably just slide Torres over to yep. short. and LeMahieu to second. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That's that, that's what their plan yeah. is. And then, then LeMahieu, I mean. He could play anywhere. Dude, shit, he he. he Almost fucked around last year, and nobody was really talking to him. And he about fucked around, won an MVP. I yeah. mean, <laughs> could have, yeah. he was damn near, damn near close if it wasn't for you know just not having the home run no, home run numbers, and yeah. obviously Mike Trout is being a fucking G. Yeah, <laughs> he's being a G and missed the last or the second part of the season. Yeah, so 
But no, that the, to me, the Yankees starting pitching, and I, I think it's going to be the lack of Didi is going to mm-hmm. bite them in the ass. And you know, we'll, we'll we'll get into this on another episode, but I don't think the Red Sox are going to do as bad as most everyone thinks they are. Oh, just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Fuck. <laughs> They're gonna have, it's going to be an all-out battle for with them in the uh, Toronto for third. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We'll, we'll break that down in another episode, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but on that note, uh, YouTube crew, we will get you out on this. Thank you for hanging out with us. Like I said, subscribe and like to us, and we will catch you next week.